Snow White! Name's Geralt. What can I do for you? That hair, the scar, ah, the frown. It's all perfect. Something you actually want from me? Or are you just gonna go on gushing about my attributes? I admire, good sir. Admire and desire. Such a threat in the eyes. Oh, so manly. If you're trying to get me to meet with you some evening, afraid you're just wasting your time. An evening? Impossible. I shall require the soft light of mid-afternoon for this portrait. Portrait? Indeed. Yours. En face. Actual size. With the finest Vista Toussaint Fords behind you. Pose for me. You must. Naturally, I shall pay the compensation due to you for your modeling services. Don't see why not, as long as it doesn't take long. It shan't, never worry. With but a short distance to journey into the hills outside of town. A perfect landscape perfectly to frame your perfect physiognomy. Let's go then. I need to only fetch my easel and pallets from my studio. We shall meet at noon at the Western Gate, near the palace. From where we'll venture forth together. to you, Witcher. Ah. Night, laugh, and... Mom! Where are ya? Banquets and wine are rather suited for... I'm here. Let us go. We should arrive in time to have the best light of the day. The chiaroscuro we shall capture. Just glorious. Let's go. The things I do for art. We had best ride there. But we'll arrive faster and less fatigued. A work of mine. Turtle dove over the heath hangs in the ducal palace. So does a cockatrice I cut down once. It's stuffed, maybe even with heather. I once had a cockatrice feather brush. Best thing for laying down tempera. Ah, I no longer have it, sadly. My blasted cat swiped it. Why would a cat want a brush? To paint with, of course. And it was no common brush. Fantastic, as I said. And fantastically expensive. Hang on. Got a cat that paints? Yeah, if you care to call it that. He merely copies the works of his betters, and poorly at that. Your cat? Yes, Pierre Auguste Moustachua. It's no surprise you've not heard of him. He's a second-rate hack and a thief. We'll continue on foot. <laughs> Ladies, gentlemen, my lieges, uh, forgive me for being forward, but have you perchance seen a set of paints and brushes nearby? Eugenie, I believe this peasant wants something from us. My paints, my brushes, I, I, I had prepared them, they, they were here. We've not seen any journeyman's tools, my good man. 
Of that I assure you. There a problem? Yes, an immense one. I cannot possibly paint without my paints. I'm done for, unless you would be kind enough to locate them. Ah, uh, damn it. Sure you left them here? Yes, right there. I'd prepared everything, set it out, ordered and organized. Hmm, might have toppled downhill or something. Fine, I'll take a look around. I think it is life that imitates art. Spilled paint. Reeks to high heavens of turpentine. That knows. He actually had an age enlarged after he saw that Red Courage play. stain could very well be a lead neckers <laughs> a bit like a necker big blobs what a troll neckers depicting their victory over some trolls that even possible necker propaganda Things. Splendid! Where were they? And... Mm, is this all you found? I left so much more. Should have kept it all with you, not left it lying around. Followed some paint tracks to a necker lair. Seems the beasts made off with your supplies. Used it to paint a fresco on one of the cave walls. Looked something like a battle scene to me. <laughs> Impossible. They splashed paint on the wall in a rage. Unimportant. In any case, it's a good thing you found the basic colors. Shall we? While waiting, I spied a superior spot. We have had fantastic luck with the weather. The light is perfect. Absolutely perfect. Painting this masterpiece gonna take long? A mere six hours. The sun won't allow us to work any longer than that. Oh, but the time will fly by. We'll chat, swap tales. Mm. Better yet, let me down a potion. Time will definitely fly by in a state of lethargy. No need to swap tales. No, no, no. Your expression, your posture, they must be just so. You must look alive with fire in your gaze. Lethargy is out of the question. <laughs> Come on, give it some thought. You could title the painting, A Witcher Lying Senselessly on the Heath. You jest. <laughs> A jesting witcher. 
Faster. Slower. This the place? Yes! Just look at the view. Breathtaking. The perfect background for our masterpiece. Mm, pretty, I guess. Now, you must carefully consider in what pose you wish to be immortalized. All right. Considering. All is ready. We may begin. Have you decided on the pose you'd like to adopt? Think I'll lie down. At least that way I can nap while you work. The hero at rest, lying on his side, propped up on an elbow, staring into the distance, relishing a victory. I can paint in a griffin corpse later. Though, naturally, a nap is out of the question. We resolved that earlier. May I begin? Or would you prefer to strike a more dynamic pose? <sighs> Go ahead. Now, be so kind as to adopt that look you gave me when I first asked you to work with me. That intense scowl of an angry wild ram about to butt heads. Yes, excellent. Now, hold that. Do not budge. Uh, this gonna take much longer? Not much, not much at all. We'll run out of daylight soon. Please, keep your head still, in the same position. Fine, I'll try. I'll also try to remember to never trust a painter again. Griffin! Yeah, I know. You'll paint one in later. Gods! A Griffin! Run! And hide! Dearest Mummy! Is it safe? Yeah, come on out. And no wonder no one ever came here. It was a griffin's hunting ground. Oh, that thing scared me to death! Not quite to death. You are alive. Not least because you chose a witcher to sit for you. How's the painting? It survived too? Uh, it did. But I cannot show it to you now. I never display unfinished work. You can see it tomorrow, after midday, where we met. I shall display it in the market square. Oof, monstrous beast. Shall we immortalize it in the painting? Yeah, let's add it. Carcass can serve as your prop. Splendid! Hmm, interesting color palette. And the textures, and the proportions. It will do. Yes, it will do. But I shall paint it in later, in my atelier. There's an excellent illustration in the Encyclopedia Maxima Mundi. I fear this specimen is, well, too far cut and chopped. Ah, 
Very well. That will do for now. I shall polish the details later. No point struggling on in this fading light. Ah, I almost forgot. Payment for your troubles. And I thank you for saving my life. Though, in doing so, you did also save your likeness. Now, for posterity. Or work on no play, right, Witcher? Keep calm! Start no brawls! Crowd around. Best cure for the beast, a witcher. Serendipity. I'm so glad. Master Witcher, what luck to happen upon you. Got work for me? New contract? Uh, of the contract in question, you acquitted yourself beautifully years past, on your last sojourn in Beauclair. I was in a bit of a bind at the time, do you remember? Yet I swore a solemn vow to pay you in full one day. Guess it rings a bell. Sadly, you went on your way before I could settle matters with you. So, I took your coin and placed it in an account for safekeeping. Hmm. What kind of account? A savings account at Chanfanelli Bank. You need but walk in and withdraw. The sum must be rather substantial by now. Thanks. Head over there first chance I get. Gotta stop by that bank. Seventeen. Get them 
Witcher's rather handsome. No safer place than a bank. Welcome to Gianfinelli Bank, where we look after your coin as if it were our own, and the customer's always right. How might I be of service? Got an account here. Like to make a withdrawal. Naturally. Your name? Geralt of Rivia. Wait a moment, please, while I find the relevant record. I'm afraid I can't help you. Extraordinary circumstances, you see. There's a note in the records. The account holder is dead. That's inaccurate, as you can see. It's some kind of mistake. The note is clearly an error. To reactivate the account, you'll need permit A38. For more information, please go to window number one. All right. Where's window number one? Welcome to Chanfanelli Bank, where we look after your coin as if it were our own, etc., etc. How can I help you, sir? I'd like to reactivate my account, so I need a copy of Permit A38. Wrong window, I fear. Happen to know where I can do it, then? Hmm. Let me think. Perhaps upstairs? In records? Or downstairs in the archive? You must ask them, sir. Do just that. Always. <clears throat> you cut the line! Sorry, gotta get through. Hold there. What is this? Back off the queue, sir. You cut the line, sir. Welcome to Chanfanelli Bank, where we look after your coin as if it were our own. And the customer is always right. How might I help you? This where I get permit A38? Naturally. Just hand me your form 202, please. Form 202. All right. Where do I get that document? Allow me to explain. Permit A38 can only be issued upon presentation of form 202, as stated specifically in ordinance N60. Please, go to window number one. <sighs> Just came from there. Never mind. Be back shortly with Form 202. Chopping the queue! How dare you! You cut in front of me, sir! <coughs> mm. Well, couldn't really give a crap. You boar! You churl! I will not stand for this! Just you wait, I'll teach you some manners! Go on, hit me. Oh, gentlemen, if you wish to raise a ruckus, do it outside. Outside, now! Nerve. 
I shall teach you the meaning of decency. Borg simpleton, prepare to be humbled. I shall teach you the meaning of decency. Come on, come closer. Poor simpleton, prepare to be humbled. I shall teach you the meaning of decency. Come on. Where the hell did she go? Hair pomade. Need to follow the scent. Could be the lead I need. What can I do for you? Who she got to lend yes. her that much Can crime. I help you? So you see, she claims puffed sleeves will be in fashion next season. Excuse me. Got something I gotta huh? take care of at window one. You cannot one. be serious. I too find it hard to believe. For... Excuse me. Can you not see what it says there? We're on our break. Celine, darling, sign this for me, will you? Oh, there you are. Listen, there's something You're on I... break. Ah, you try to be polite, it just never gets through. Got no choice, I guess. Need to wait till they're done with their break. You must wait. They have the break now. So, what do you hope to get here, my friend? Permit A38. Though, guess I need Form 202 as well now. Form 202? Easy peasy. Certificate P. Now, that is a challenge. But, as we are both forced to wait, fancy a round of Gwent. See, you know this place pretty well. Must have taken care of a good amount of business. Oh, naturally, my friend. Naturally. Indeed, I've managed to work the system a time or two. You see, such things require finesse. Subtlety. Otherwise, you're stuck. I have seen them try everything. Magic, hypnosis, bribery. Nothing works. Might as well go if nothing works. There's nothing I can do. Be kind. Be pleasant. This and only this. The woman here, she sits at her window 12 hours each day without hearing so much as a good day from anyone. But muster up some flowers, some perfume. <laughs> well, you will resolve your matter lickety-split. <laughs> right. Certainly worth a shot. Welcome to Chanfanelli Bank, where we look after your coin as if it were our own, etc., etc. How can I help you, sir? Need Form 202 to get a copy of Permit A38. Do you know that? Couldn't have told me? Wasted a lot of time because of you. Please, sir. There's no need to lose your temper. I thought it obvious and thus needed no stating. 
The form was Sunday ready. Name and surname? Geralt of Rivia. Let me find it. Get on, Gemel. Here it is. Geralt of Rivia. Sorry, sir, I cannot issue Form 202. Excuse me? The applicant in question has been declared dead. Officially. Now, do tell me, sir, how am I to enter that into the ledger? Got you some flowers. Just to thank you for helping me with my file. Oh, but I... I shouldn't. For me? Really? Match the color of your eyes. Oh. You, sir, are quite the charmer. Ah, please, wait a moment. I shall fetch Master Cinfanelli. Perhaps he'll arrange something that excludes the paperwork. Uh, you tell him, Danny Disturb, but no, always some bugger who can't stand to wait. Plow me, who's this? Hearty greetings, Master Geralt. You haven't paid us a visit in eons. Been a bit busy, but I'm back now and I need your help with something. Of course. Now do tell, how can I help you? Got a problem with my account. Wanted to withdraw some coins, see, but... Nay no problem there. We'll get you paid up in a jiffy. I'm just gonna need to settle yon tiny wee trifle. Heard that already. Permit A38, among others. Oh, my hands are tied without them, Geralt. But I see you're a quick learner in the ways of banking. You'll get them in a heartbeat. Chanfinelli, no more excuses. Pay out my coin, now. Come on, Master Witcher, for why the ire? There's no need. We'll have it all for you. You just need to see the necessary documents. Got a document right here means a hell of a lot more than any of your forms or permits. Have a look. Uh, her enlightened highness, she's hired you. Mm-hmm. And as her personal emissary, I demand access to my account, right now. Uh, uh, aye, Master Witcher. This way. So how's the trade these days, Master Witcher? Can't complain. Good for you, because in our neck of the woods, things are dark, dark shite. Wine sales are stuck in the muck and sinking deeper. It's the fucking wretched names, I tell you. Out with the duchy, have me any notion how to say coat de blessure and all that. It twists their tongues in bloody knots. Makes them ashamed to ask for it. Done. Deposit box 256. Last you on the right. What the hell's this, Chenfinelli? Box is empty. Well, uh, coins got to circulate. So when we learned you were dead, Master, we, uh, circulated yours. Purchased stocks, bonds, invested in a few vineyards. Before we knew it, there was hee-haw left in the box. Really ought to call it what it is. You robbed me, plain and simple. Nay, Master Witcher, never! I wouldn't dare! Oh, you'd dare. And now you'll answer for it. Open the gate. Master Witcher, I'll pay it all back, every red copper. I swear it on my nana's beard. Got a week, not one day more. You shan't regret this, I swear. I'll rustle it up, have it ready for you in seven days. See you then. You'd best behave, friend. You're in good hands. Oh! 
Greetings. Geralt! There you are! So, our painting. Are you pleased? Is it to your liking? Do tell! <laughs> Not exactly what I imagined. I believe I posed with all my clothes on. Clearly remember that in fact. Some other details are off too. Invalid as a criticism. I depicted you in a more flattering state. The painting has drawn crowds, aroused a great deal of interest. Can see that. Anyway, some advice for the future. Warn your subjects about your intentions. Your next model might not be so forgiving. You don't like it. I'm hurt. Perhaps you'd care to buy the painting. Given our rapport, I shall take a loss. For you, I'll part with it, I will, at a special price. Why not? It'll make an interesting memento. Though I'd hardly call the price a bargain. <laughs> Indeed. Few have the sophistication to appreciate my technique. I sometimes go hungry as a consequence. Mm, all right. At least this way I'll be able to control who sees it. Thanks. Aubrey has returned, not to be missed by your team. Oh, what a specimen. He scared the fright out of me. Don't crawl around. You're back. So, how shall it be? Will you help hunt down the Grandmaster diagrams? Those for Witcher armor. All these diagrams somehow wound up in Toussaint? How is that even possible? Tusa was once home to Tien Sail, a legendary and now deceased elfin master armorer. Witches from all corners of the world came to him to forge their plate, their mail. Heard about him. Supposed to have been the best. And thus he charged the king's ransom for his work. Witches would take difficult, dangerous work to earn the coin to pay him. Some, uh, alas, met with misfortune, and the diagrams they carried were left to rot with their earthly remains. Got it. Find them, find the diagrams. But how can I know where to look for their remains? As it happens, I learned my trade at Jensai inside. So I heard the stories of the missing witches firsthand. What he told me... Well, that is what discouraged me from seeking the diagrams out myself. We must strike a deal. I shall tell you all I know of the remaining diagrams. In return, once you've found them, you will let me draft a copy.
What do you have on offer? Where do I look for these diagrams? I know of five likely fallen witches, each from a different school, of the wolf, griffin, cat, bear, and manticore. Which should I start with? Tell me about my brother, the wolf. His name was Aton. I remember him well. My master liked him, helped him find a safe yet a well-paid contract. A few years ago, an archaeological expedition arrived in Toussaint from Castel Gropia. They questioned my master about the elfin ruins at the Termes. He warned them of the danger there and recommended they take Aton as an escort. What kind of danger did he mean? Any idea? Legend claims wraiths haunt the chambers beneath Termes. I cannot say if there is any truth to this, but uh, both the scholars and the Witcher disappeared without a trace. The Griffin. What can you tell me about him? He came some 200 years ago, but my master remembered him well. This Witcher was not stripped of emotions, you see, as his colleagues were. He had taken on a contract at Fort Usa and required better gear. He showed my master his diagrams, paid a deposit, and was never seen again. Apparently, he rode off one night from the fort, never to return. Any idea where he went? No. It said he left in a rush. So he may have left something behind. Only ruins remain of Fort Usa, but you may wish to search them. Let's talk about the cat. A year ago, Bartolome de Lone, the ducal armorer, asked me to confirm the authenticity of a witcher diagram he had received by messenger. You see, at the time, he was working on new armor for the Ducal Guard. A witcher from the School of the Cat offered to sell him diagrams for a full set of gear. The diagrams would have been helpful indeed. The diagram you saw, was it really a witcher diagram? Beyond any doubt. It's a shame Delaunay didn't let me draft a copy. He was quite shaken up. Afraid the Witcher might simply kill him and take his coin. Possibly a well-founded fear. Soon after, Delaunay disappeared without a trace. I would have searched his former home for clues, but it has fallen into disrepair, and it is simply too dangerous there. Tell me more about the bear, can you? He appeared shortly after Master Tiensail took me on as his apprentice. I remember the bare-head medallion that hung from his neck. I remember a towering witcher who haggled like a fishwife. <laughs> Witchers never have too much coin. True. This one clearly was not wealthy. But he pledged to bring us coin after he completed a contract at the Tufo Vineyard, where a building had just collapsed. Time passed, the bear never showed, and my master sent me to the Tufo estate. As it turned out, the Witcher had indeed accepted a job. Yet that was all they heard of him, and that is all I know. School of the Manticore. Probably know the least about it, though once, long ago, wore some armor forged there. My master said the Manticores have their fortress in the Far East. A century passed, one of their number came to him, a witcher named Merton. He made a poor impression on my master. 
He stank like a dwarf and still, and uh, quarreled fiercely all the time. Tien Sahil slammed the door in his face and told him to return when he sobered up. He would conduct no business with a drunk. The Witcher, however, failed to return. Folk say he got into a booze-fueled brawl with the Ducal Guard. He was arrested and sentenced. Bastoy Prison, where he was held, well, it's been a ruin for years. Still, you may want to start your search there. School of the Manticore gear is really rare. All the more reason to search for the remaining diagrams. This elven master, how'd he end up taking a human for an apprentice? My father forged armor. As a youngster, I helped him, then began forging my own pieces. Master Tien Sahil saw my work and offered to take me on as his apprentice. Only now, years on, do I realize the honor that was. Alas, my master perished in a massacre later, slain by racists. Though he taught me everything he knew, I did not manage to complete the guild's requirements for Grand Master while he lived. I know I have no equal in the trade. Yet, uh, until I complete Witcher armor of Grand Master quality, I shall never be certain I've become my teacher's equal. Managed to find something already. Wonderful. I shall draft a copy. This is good. This at last will earn me the title of Grand Master. I thank you, Witcher. Farewell. Good luck on the path. around. How might I be off surface, sir? Starting to really like this place. Maybe we should keep going, refurbish some more. What do you think, BB? As you wish, sir. Shall we see to the house or the grounds this time? Been thinking about the outer walls. Maybe a fresh coat of paint or some patching. If I might dare to make a suggestion, why not start with a general renovation? I once oversaw such work at Admiral Rompelli's summer residence. The effects were simply breathtaking. Not only did the residence positively sparkle afterwards, but we also made room to display the Admiral's armor and weapons, of which he was a passionate collector. It's in your hands, then. Make the place shine. I shall get to work immediately. Within a day's passing, I shall have sent for the crew which rebuffed the Admiral's residence. They are the finest specialists around. Highly skilled at what they do, it shall not take them too long, I wager. Two days after they begin, 
your eyes will behold your residence in its refurbished, rejuvenated, beautified state. Is there anything, anything else you require, sir? Feels like by invent- I agree. Yet I would urge you to hold off on further construction until the onga- Now what? Change- I shall be glad to answer your every question, sir. Starting to really like this play. As you wish, sir. Starting to get into this whole renovating thing. There must be other things we can improve. Hmm. Provided we preserve the grounds Beauclerois stylings, and on condition that you are not considering something like um, digging vast holes in which to store monster carcasses or bury cursed treasure, I am very much in favor, sir. My armor needs work from time to time. You know, oil this, reinforce that. Could use a decent work table where I could do all that. Admiral Rompali once hired a specialist who made the finest armorer's tables this side of the Yeruga. I will contact him at once. Good. Order me up a table like that. Immediately, sir. I expect it will take at most one day to arrive. Will you be needing anything else, sir? In my trade, my blades get dull pretty quick. Could use a grindstone. Professional grade. Of course. No one would consider that an unnecessary extravagance, I would wager. Then send out for one, please. A high-quality stone to be set up in the yard. Of course. I shall send a runner to town at once. I believe you shall be grinding to your heart's content by tomorrow. Will you be needing anything else, sir? That's all for now, BB. Thanks. Renovations coming along all right, Barnabas Basil? Superbly, sir. General refurbishment has been completed. And I took the liberty of adding two racks, each upon which you might hang weapons and armor, if you've some pieces you'd like to display. Likewise, I have prepared a few spots in which new paintings might be hung. In other news, the laborers dusting out the cellar have made a most unusual discovery. I believe it's something you'll wish to see. If you say I should see it, I'll go see it right now, BB. time.
BB, know anything about the laboratory in the cellar? One of the previous owners taken interest in alchemy? A laboratory? Alchemy? I know nothing of it. But I understand that to a witcher this must be a very intriguing fight. It is. It was walled up. Equipment's pretty ancient too, so it must have belonged to someone who lived at Corvo Bianco before you started working here. Whoever it was sure knew their stuff though. Got dragon glass vials and flasks, stills, sublimators, vengerometers. Forgive me, sir, but I fear I don't follow. Just saying, it's top-notch equipment. True masterpieces of craftsmanship for use in alchemy. Brewing a concoction with this stuff versus doing it over an open fire? Well, there's no comparison. Then I am all the more delighted you discovered it, sir. Vineyard comes across- Baron? Rossell. He was actually- No, not him. He never had- Monsieur, sadly- Shame that- Not at all. Starting to really like this place. As you wish, sir. Feels like- Indeed. Momentum is best maintained once established. Now that we've finished the general- Thinking about buying a comfortable bed. Excellent idea. In your profession, rest is- Great. Order me a fine bed, please. Think I deserve one at my age. True indeed, true indeed. I shall send a runner at once. The bet will be in place by this time tomorrow. Is there anything... anything else you require, sir? Could use another weapon rack. Got some interesting pieces I'd like to display. I know of a carpentry shop in town which crafts the humblest lumber into true masterpieces. You need but give the word. Fine. Order the racks. Of course, at once. At most one day for them to arrive, is my estimation. Is there anything... anything else you require, sir? Along the path I've often picked... I agree. It would lend the place... Yes. It goes without... By this time... Is there anything... Was wondering about- Oh, but that is immaterial. All self-respecting homes should boast- Yeah. I can tell a man of action. Is there anything- Starting to- What a splendidly wise idea. You know, Roach, my- Oh, a sturdy stable testifies to a most honorable owner. Just say the word- and I'll have them start working on it at once. My roach deserves the best. Have them refurbish the stables. I shall get to work at once. Yet finding workmen and completing construction takes time, though likely no more than two days. Will you be needing anything? So, some... Well, you're in luck, sir. The flower garden, once kept by... Good idea, Barnabas Basil. Herbs there will save me hours of painstaking searching and harvesting. The idea is yours, sir. I am but the humble executor of your will. I believe we shall have sown the first seats in two days' time. Will you be needing anything? That's all for now, BB. Thanks.
Of course, I can tell they were the idea. But what I can touch. Longer. You, Jacob? Heal, Mohot. <sighs> Down. Who asks? A witcher. Saw your notice. Hold up. A witcher, you say? Like in Lewis Herrera's tales and fables. Luckier than a green, bleeding leprechaun I am. See? Not a soul around believes this tree is Daphne. The cursed lady of legend. But you, you could lift the curse. So, what makes you think there's a girl cursed inside the tree? Well, I came out with my dog, Moholt, to cut her down. Axe in hand, a broad swing I took. The edge burrowed deep in her trunk and bum botch me if blood didn't spurt forth. My jaw dropped in the dirt. But right then I knew. Every jot of it in the tale of Daphne, Gareth, and the Witch of Lynx Craig. Don't tell me. From Herrera's tales and fables. You porking bet. Second edition. I meant it in octavo. I know those tales by heart. My nan read them to put me to sleep. Guess she read it cover to cover, colophon included. Let me take a look at the tree. Careful now. Swear I hear sobs in the rustling leaves. shape of the stain. Logger was making good time. Strange, though. Willow's isolated. No other trees near it. Logger was making good time. Strange, though. Willow's isolated. No other trees near it. Actually does bleed. Looks like human blood too. And the bark resembles hypertrophic scars in places. Medallions humming like crazy. Intense magic at work here. And? Did you look at the tree close? Mm -hmm. Actually does bleed. Pretty incredible. Looks... Wondrous. Did I not say so? Willing to help, but first I gotta figure out where to start. No need. I know it all. Miss Daphne and Sir Gareth shared a terrible and fearsome laugh for each other. Yet to prove himself worthy of her hint, Gareth was to face the Witch of Lynx Crag. Before Sir Gareth set off for the hill, Miss Daphne gave him her kerchief, a token of her favor. Let me guess, he never returned. He did not. She stood here, day upon day, night upon night, trying to spy him. Till she sprouted roots and turned into a tree? Wonder why. I will fecking tell you why. To await the moment when Gareth returns, kerchief in hand. That is the power of love. The power of longing. So you must scale Lynx Craig. Search there for a means to free Daphne. I will give you my book of tales to refer to. And good luck, Witcher.
thank you coin for a while. inhabited. No sign of the dweller, though. Guess I'll look around. Hmm. Hmm. A wall of spell enhancements. Or trophies. Arrow. Broken in half. No doubt to bring bad luck to the archer. Branch off a grapevine. Could be to ensure a good harvest, or a bad one. Doll looks like an accessory for casting curses. Silk kerchief, monogrammed DF. Hmm. Could use it to break the curse if it's Daphne's. None but feral cats stray in here most oft, yet it seems I've forgessed from afar at that. What do you seek in my home? Already found it. You do not aim to lift the curse from the tree, girl, do you? What if I do? Then you had best know you waste your time. The old tales? Did your nan not tell them to you? Even I 
The Witch of Lynx Crag would be hard-pressed to overcome the power of love and longing. I'll handle the curse myself, without your help. Go right ahead. I wish you luck. Letting me go? Just like that? I could not have devised a better ending for this little tale. Our visit is done. Adieu. For never shall we meet again. So? You met the witch. You must have. What did you learn? Daphne's kerchief. We'll use it to lift the curse. But we gotta start at the right time. When the hour comes, I'll light four fires for the four winds. Then begin the ritual. Fires? Then I shall be of use to you after all. Seems you need wood. Much of it. Chop as much as you can. I'll see to the rest. I've chopped and stacked the wood. What now? My turn. Gotta light fires and talk to the woman enchanted in the tree. No idea how this'll turn out. So just in case, stand at a distance. And if you see me draw my sword, run. The world about you lives, endures. Light rushes in on the southern breeze. Summer's reprise. On the north wind, winter's clouds roll in. Midst the winds of the west, your name sings and spins. Daphne, rise. Live again among men.
Hear me, you who hide beneath this bark. Recall today who you really are. Behold a kerchief, proof of your love for another. What the demon happened there? My fault. Went about lifting the curse the wrong way. More like tore than freed her from her prison. Shock was too much. Released all the rage and pain that was in her. Blimey, man. I suppose that's what I get for hiring a bungler. At least the lady's pain is done. She'll suffer no more in the tree. Now take your coin and go. Ah! 